Welcome everyone, my name is Bobby Techno from Bobby's Tech World and today we are going to root our Samsung Galaxy S4 with the Lollipop 5.0 installed. Now this is the Lollipop that, um, or the 5.0 update that came from Verizon as an over the air. So if you have prior uh, um, KitKat or anything like that and you have your phone it's rooted, you got all kinds of fancy stuff on there, this isn't for you. You could probably find other ways to uh, upgrade your phone and root it with different uh, bootloader adjustments and stuff. But if you have taken over the air update, I went ahead and did it for you. We can now root our phone thanks to um, some fellow developers. What we're going to do is go over here to XDA. I'll put the link down below. In this form here, some guy just posted pretty much, you know, hey, look, I uh, rooted my phone using uh, King Root. All right, so if you go down here a couple posts, you'll see right here. This is I can verify that this King Root 4.1.0.703 uh, will root your phone. So let's go ahead and click that sucker. All right. Yeah, sure thing. All right, we're going to go and we're going to see. This is a, an app that we're going to download. So let's go ahead and bypass all this jargon here. All right. I do the download APK via SenseBase. Go in there. All right, download as a free member. Choose Chrome. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Just your preference. It's up to you. It says this file can harm your device because it's an APK. That's all right. We're going to go ahead and click OK. There you go. There's the download. There you go. It has finished downloading. So we're going to go ahead and click on it from there. King Root, do you want to install this application? Yes. Install. I'm going to decline this. So it's your preference on that one. All right, app is installed. Let's go ahead and open it. All right, as you can see, this is my model number. Android 5.0.1 so we're, we've got the newest stuff I've got the up the bootloader that's current OC1 all that good stuff alright I'm going to decline that again and decline again There you go. Root successfully. So, uh, I do believe for some people, I must have just went on through, but uh, for some people it'll ask, it'll tell you that uh, your phone is not compatible with root. I guess it's because I've been messing around with this phone, rooting and unrooting and stuff, so it probably still thinks it's rooting. But uh, it is rooted successfully. This will do it and it'll say like this phone isn't compatible, but go ahead and hit uh, root anyway. And this is what will happen. You'll be done with that. Let's go over to, oh, excuse me, the Play Store. And we're going to uh, install a root checker. As you can see, I got everything <laughs> ready to go pretty much. So we're going to go to root checker. Go ahead and install that. So please forgive me if you didn't see the root now button or anything like that or make it rain with the old, um, uh, little one button root apps would do or anything like that but once you click it and let it roll through its course it'll show you exactly what you just saw so let's go ahead and open that and this is your root checker you can go ahead and agree um, verify root status let's go ahead and verify root okay we will allow this is your root right here all right congratulations root access is properly installed on your device so that is awesome once again we have root on our Samsung Galaxy S4's Verizon version, Lollipop, Android 5.0.1. I hope you all enjoy. Thank you for watching. I'm Bobby Techno from Bobby's Tech World, and I'm pulling chalks.